killer cop. Inmate says he's heard nothing on the morning of Jeffrey Epstein's death. But his lawyer says he knows a heck of a lot about what went on. Nicholas Tartaglioni, an ex-Westchester cop who faces the death penalty in a quadruple homicide upstate, was being held a few cells away from Epstein on August the 10th when he was found unresponsive around 6.30 a.m. Nobody heard anything. It was a silent act, his lawyer Bruce Barquette told NBC News. Tartaglioni was Epstein's cellmate in Manhattan Correctional Facility or Center when the convicted pedophile was first found nearly unconscious on the floor of his cell with injuries in, around his neck in July. The hawking former uh, cop told investigators that he didn't hear anything at the time and wasn't responsible for Epstein's injuries. Tartaglioni has not yet been questioned about Epstein's suicide. Nick knows a heck of a lot about what's going on or what went on, his lawyer claimed. He was there during the first attempt and he was there when he actually killed himself. He just wasn't in the same cell. Tartaglioni, 51, is awaiting trial on charges. Um, with the, He murdered four men as a part of a drug deal gone bad. He is accused of burying the bodies on a property. Whether or not he will be in position to cooperate remains unclear, but he is certainly but he certainly has information that will be very valuable to the investigation. So I just wanted to put that out there that there was an ex cop who was in the same cell as Jeffrey Epstein says that he heard nothing. I guess he's trying to say if you were killing yourself you would hear some type of choking or falling or rumbling around or if there was a fight or something he would have heard some rumbles so he said he didn't hear anything um but the fact that he's a ex-cop uh and he's a killer himself they wanted to question him and see you know did he see anything he said he didn't hear anything they want to know did he see anything because you know, he can see guards, he can hear keys opening the doors. Um, like I said, he was on the same cell when he first attempted suicide, supposedly, and the same day that he actually supposedly committed suicide. So that's the new update. I just wanted to put that out there real quick uh, to say that there was basically... A partial witness if you want to call them that um, because they're in their own cells on the same floor the Taglioni guy he's two doors from Epstein and he said he heard nothing so I don't know what that means but I just wanted to let you all know and give you the information um, regarding this what I found if there's anything you want to add to this, um, you can. If you want to share this information with someone, you can. Um, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time on 24K Info.